Hey everyone, it's me, the Game Master 27. Welcome back to more Pokemon Soul Silver. Last time uh, we beat Brock here in Pewter City, and now uh, we're gonna head east to Mount Moon because we haven't gone there yet. So yeah, just gonna run on over there. And for once, my game isn't lagging, so yay! Okay, so anyway, now we're on Route 3, and oh yeah, I for totally forgot about that. The trainer's on Route 3. Okay, this kid, he's got a level 40 gold back. Ooh. And I'm just gonna to speed up. Alright, Dragon Pulse. That should take it out. Yep, there we go. And we got a crit, so that helps too. And um, Dragon's level 51. Alright, and we also have an Electro. Alright. Which gets me to Charge Beam. And we get the Special Attack Boost. Yeah, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. And it has Magnet Rise. Alright then. Again, that's not much of a problem. And Rocky is level 47. Yay. And wants to learn a new attack. Okay, 100 power, and stuff like that. <laughs> Which means it's most likely uh, Earthquake. Now I'm just looking at my moves to see which you might want to get rid of. I've got two dark type attacks that have equal power and equal amount of PP, so... Eh, oh well. I'm going one. Alright, there we go. So, uh, yeah. Now I'm just gonna go in my bag and swap Rocky, the Jupiter, to second, because as you can see, there's a uh, double battle right here. Oh, this is new music. Alright, so they've got a Doug Trio and an Electric Bus. Well, that's convenient for me. <laughs> uh, Rock Slide. And of course he uses Dig, so crap. I'm hitting with Discharge, but it doesn't do damage to Rocky, but it does do damage to Drago. Alright. Now let's try Aqua Tail again, and Rock Slide again. Because yep, there's that bad trio hit me with, uh, uh, Dig, and I miss. Come on. But I kill him, I kill off, uh, the Doug Trio, so that way it doesn't hurt. Oh wait, never mind, I don't miss. I actually hit. That was the uh, like a in this. Now he hits me with low kick, and now I'm dead. Come on! Alright, well, that like a dead now. And now I want to go into my bag and heal Pukitar again. She's the main Pokemon I want to evolve. Same thing with Draga. So from now on, they're going to be the first two Pokemon in my party until they evolve to their final evolutions. And okay, nothing over here. Uh, let's see what's down here. A bunch of rocks. Oh wait, these are like those evolution rocks or whatever from, uh, whatever like they're called, from uh, Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. The rocks that you come over to and you talk to and change the form of your Deoxys. I think that's what it is, but yeah, that's pretty cool. He brought that into uh, Heart, Gold, and Soul Silver. Alright. Well, now. Crap, I should have ran down. Now I have to battle two trainers. Okay, this guy, he's got Eradicate. Which I'll hit with Dragon Pulse, and that almost takes him out. Hits me with Crunch. Does an okay amount of damage, and I have him with Akatel, get a crit, which is really unnecessary. I kill off Eradicate, now for uh, Parasect, and I hit him with Dragon Rush, and then it's dead too. And last up is Arbok, and he'll hit me with Intimidate, so that shouldn't uh, be much of a problem anyway, since Drago is a special attacker. So yeah, boom, go to buy uh, Arbok, and yeah, there we go. Now, time to battle. Whoops. Wrong button. There we go. Alright, so he's got a Thero. 
which I'll hit with Dragon Rush and hopefully take out. And crap, I just hit the camera. There we go. Alright, and there's the Eradicate, which I'll hit with Akatel, and take it out in one hit with the crit again. Wow. <laughs> Alright, well, right there was one necessary battles. Well, one of the necessary battle. So, uh, yeah. Just gonna come on around and battle this fire breather guy. Okay, he's got three Pokemon and they're most likely all Magmar, or at least fire types. So, yeah, Akatel will do the trick against them, but of course I get burned because I forgot, uh, Aquatel is a physical attack. Uh, okay, so it turns out he's got a Weezing too, which just blows up with explosion. But I didn't care that much because Dragos are gonna die from the barn anyway. So yeah. Now for Pupitar, and uh, out comes a camera up, which I just killed Earthquake, which is a new attack I just learned. Alright. Hey. I think this is the first time I've ever had Pupitar outside his Pokeball. Huh. Okay. So now for this trainer up here. Alright, he's got two Pokemon too. Toss out with a Graveler. Which I just throw a Earthquake. And I get a level up. Cool. And now uh, for Rhyhorn. Rhyhorn. Rhydon. I almost said Rhyhorn. But yeah, that almost kills, it gives me Rock Blast, which is not very effective. And now I'm gonna use Dark Pulse, and I'm gonna scared right on. And now for Clefairy, which I'm just gonna kill with Earthquake. Alright, and I get a crit with Earthquake too, so that helps. Alright, well that trainer's done. I'm pretty sure there's maybe three more trainers or something on this route. Which I hope I could finish within the next few minutes. We're coming up on the time limit. So, oh crap, probably not. Uh, come on, who guitar out? Huge crap. Give me that dynamic punch, and I'm dead. Crap. Okay, uh, go Jolt. Hit him with Thunder Fang. Hopefully that kills him. Nope. And then he hits me with Hydro Pump. Whoa. Alright, now Thunder Shock. Now let's take a Polyrath. Man, my entire team's so much dead. Come on. Oh, now we got two more trainers over here. Crap. We actually three more trainers. Ugh. Um, I'm not gonna have time to battle all three of them, so that's it for this part. See you guys in the next part when we finish up on Route 3 and heading to Mount Moon. Alright?